adaptation of the 2015 debut novel from Joe Bloom. Um, and in short, it follows a Jewish woman who infiltrates a neo-Nazi group in the 60s in London. Um, so Agnes O'Casey stars in her first major screen role as the protagonist Vivian. The first episode opens with this kind of really shocking image of Vivian throwing a Nazi salute to the real life fascist leader Colin Jordan, who here is played by the Shakespeare actor who you'll recognize from things like Black Mirror, Rory Kinnear, who is really great in this role. And then it kind of instantly jumps back in time and we see Vivian now with brown hair and she is sitting with her Jewish family, having dinner, sitting across from her future husband. But Vivian is unhappy and she's kind of pining after her one true love. And so she kind of packs her bags in the middle of the night and moves to London to find him. And when she does, she realizes that he's kind of deep undercover in this far right neo-Nazi national socialist movement, which is kind of rapidly growing popularity in London in the 60s. What follows is kind of essentially a spy thriller as well as a really great love story. The, the chemistry between O'Casey and um, Tom Vary as Jack is, is really palpable and I think it's mostly to their credit that they, they really make it work. They make something that sounds like it really could be cliched from the storyline um, and they make it believable and they make it engaging. So the writer Sarah Soleimani, um, she, she was in charge of adapting the novel and while I haven't read the book, I want to say that it's a good adaptation because the show is really good. It is surprising that her previous credits have kind of included comedies. So she's worked on HBO's Barry and also on Bridget Jones' Baby. And I mean, this is definitely not a comedy, but it's really tight. And I think that's what you want for a spy thriller. You kind of want no filler, all killer. So is Ridley Road a binge or a bin? It's a binge. It's a binge.